Hey guys, I'm just playing with my ball. Yay! So the reason that the ball comes back down whenever you throw it up is because of gravity. Whoa, gravity! See, when I jump, I also come back down. That's because of gravity. Now, Peck and Combo is going to teach you all about gravity. Yay! Take it away, Peck and Combo. Ryan's World Galaxy Explorers. We'll take over from here, Ryan. Hi, Combo Krill. We're here to teach you about gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls objects toward each other. You can actually see gravity in your everyday life. When you jump, gravity pulls you back to the ground. Like this. Without gravity, you would jump and float off into outer space forever. Like this. Whoa. Gravity pulls objects toward the center of the Whoa. Earth. If there was no gravity, everything and everybody on Earth would just float away, including all the air we breathe. Gravity keeps the Earth's atmosphere in place and holds the planet together. Gravity also keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth, and the moon has gravity too. The moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans and makes tides. Combo Bunga! Gravity holds our solar system together, too. The sun's gravity pulls on the planets around it and keeps them all in orbit. It keeps the Earth a comfortable distance from the sun, so it doesn't get too hot and burn up, but we can still enjoy the sun's warmth and light. Everything has gravity. The bigger something is, the more gravity it has. But wait, since the sun is 109 times wider than Earth, why don't we all get pulled into the sun? Good question, Combo. The closer objects are to each other, the more gravity draws them together. We stay on Earth instead of being pulled into the sun because we're much closer to Earth. Huh. So since planets and stars are all different sizes, does that mean the gravity is different on each one? That's right, Combo. Gravity is what gives a person weight. Your weight is just a measurement of how gravity is pulling you towards Earth. If you leave Earth and go to another planet, your weight will change based on the size of that planet. Cool. How much would we weigh on the moon, Pack? The moon is way smaller than the Earth. So your weight on the moon is only a fraction of what it is on Earth. Wow! Well, I feel as light as a feather! How much would I weigh on other planets? Another good question, Combo. Let's find out. Mercury is the closest planet to our sun. It's also the smallest planet in our solar system. So its gravity isn't that strong. A 100-pound person would weigh 38 pounds on Mercury. I'm heavier than I was on the moon, but still way lighter than I was on Earth. It's pretty hot here, though. Can we go someplace cooler? Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. A 100-pound person would weigh 235 pounds on Jupiter. Yo! I feel heavy! Jupiter is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium, so you would spend a lot of time falling through all that gas. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'd like to get back to Earth now. Gravity is all around us. It holds the whole universe together. We're lucky to be here on Earth where gravity is just right. You can say that again. Back to you, Ryan. <laughs> well, I'm glad we live on Earth so we can play outside without floating away. Thanks for learning about gravity with me. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Whee!